Hello, welcome to Beer Can Bushcraft. Um, I thought I'd have a go at making some fishing flies and um, I copied this one off the internet. It's, it, <laughs> I don't know what sort of fly it is. It's just a, a bit of paracord. It's got a, it's the, um, where are we? Hold on, I wanted a pointer. Um, this is um, a safety pin hook. Um, and then the paracord has just been cut off. The hook's been threaded through it. And then the paracord has been um, heated up here and melted. And then it's just sort of fluffed up at the end. So, you know, that's probably the most basic. I, I mean, I don't know anything about fly fishing. And I really, I mean, when I say I don't, I don't know anything about it. I've never been fly fishing or anything, but I thought it was a skill and I thought I'd give it a go. So there's, there's that one. And then, um, hold on, let me just position that a little bit better for you. Ooh, 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 ha, ha. Ooh. Uh, right. And then there's this one. And, um, well, as you can see. Um, that's the interior of the paracord and it's this is my own design um, and extremely fiddly to make because um, I didn't have anything to hold it with like you know these are tweezers but you'd want a little vice to hold it in um, and so I then well I say and so um, I then made this one, which is a little bit more complicated. This is meant to be a damselfly nymph. And um, and you can see I've got it in the, well, the, the chuck of a, a sort of a hand um, drill. And well, I mean, I was quite pleased with this, but again, I didn't have anything to hold it in and um, really struggled um, to make it. It took me a long time to make this, much longer than you'd want to do in the wild. I mean, if you were trying to survive, this would not be an acceptable thing to make. Um, not in my book, anyway. Let's take that out of there. Um, and so I made this, which is a a little clamp that you could um, use to make flies flies with in the wild um, it's on us it's a stick it's um, split so you can um, as you can see split here it's got a pin it's held together it's got a wedge put the wedge in this area clamps up here um, and I've made it like this so I can stick it in that vice over there and um, and I can practice making some flies. I'm going to make a few and see how how good I get. I haven't made it in this yet, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. But let me just show you how you make it. It's dead simple, really. Um, what you do is you is you get a a little piece of wood like that. Now that little piece of wood could be a long piece of wood, or you know this is just a demonstration. And you split it and then you put a, a little groove either side here you know just cut it with your knife you know no big deal and then you make a little pin uh, this is fiddly <laughs> and you put it in there like that and then you put the other one on top of it I can Where are we? like that and so you can see it rocks you want to have your pivot point nearer the center than the back because you want a bit of leverage on it um, and then you bind this up so you can see how how this one has just been bound up with bank line this is this is just a piece of oak and an oak twig and all I've done is put a finish on it so it looks a bit nicer than um, and then 
um, you make yourself a little wedge. This is made out of hazel. And then you put it in like that and it grips here. And you can use this for for other things around the camp. You know, if you if you know if you wanted to, I don't know what could you use it for. You know, put a bit of tarp or a bit of plastic in here, and uh, tighten it up with the wedge. And then you could have a, a piece of cord going around here, and it would it, you could have it so it's um, you know perhaps a guy line or something. Um, I mean, it's got other uses, doesn't it? So. Well, there we go. I just thought I would share that little lot with you and um, I'll be seeing you around.